fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I am so excited for this video because we are going to be playing with a brand new collab that is launching today. Hopefully I can get this video live pretty fast. This is the new Summer Abroad collection from Khaki and Finding Ferdinand. I actually have not tried Finding Ferdinand before. This is my first taste of the brand, but from what Khaki says about them, they sound really, really cool. So she released a collection of six blushes and a lip gloss, and I thought it'd be fun to just go ahead and do a swatch party with y'all. We're gonna try some on the cheeks, try the lip gloss, see what's up, because it seems like a really curated collection, and you guys know I am such a sucker for collabs. I love supporting my fellow YouTubers, and I did have the pleasure of meeting Khaki at the Creators and Friends event in Charleston. She was super down to earth, so I'm really, really excited to play with this collection. Congrats Khaki, it looks beautiful and the imagery is just so, so cute. So essentially, we have the same coral shade and then the same goes with the more brown blush. Again, three different intensities and then there is one lip gloss and it is so, so cute. Where'd I put it? I found it. The packaging is super pretty. It's like this really nice golden top and the shade is called Sparkling Limoncello. It's supposed to be a lemon smelling lip gloss which I've never smelled before. Ooh, ooh, it does smell really good. It's like lemony and sweet, but not too intense. So let's see, it just looks like, it's like this sparkling, like slightly yellowy warm gloss. Looks super, super pretty. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it on my lips now. Ooh, that makes me want an Italian ice. It smells so good. Super glossy. Let's go ahead and get into the blushes. So they all are in this really pretty packaging with like this like grungy green top and a frosted glass bottom. And unfortunately, some, something happened to my corals along the way. They look like they got a little bit melted in the mail. So the first shade we have here is called Paloma, which I believe is supposed to be named after a cocktail, but all I can think about is Spanish in my brain. This is a pigeon. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so it's super, super like jelly, creamy-like, like just very soft to the touch. I feel like one of my personal pet peeves with cream blushes is when you have to really work and warm them up in order to get pigment out of them, and this is just like super soft right off the bat. So like I said, here we have Paloma, which is definitely the softest coral. It has like a slightly pinky tone to it. I feel like that would probably end up being one of my personal favorites. The next coral we have here is called Spritz. This looks like a really beautiful, vibrant coral. It looks like it has a touch more like orangey to it, but does that not look so dewy? Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like it's just gonna melt into the skin. And then the deepest coral here is called Apertif which is really pretty. I feel like on me, this is gonna be like a super bright orangey blush. Again, just so intense. And they don't smell like anything. So the lightest brown blush here is called Latte. In Khaki's video, she does explain that the corals are all like nighttime cocktail inspired and all of the brown shades are more like coffee inspired, which I thought was really cute. So this is just a very, very soft kind of neutral moment. I'm curious to see how this will look on my skin if it does end up looking like blush or like bronzer, but it does seem to be like pulling a little bit pinky, like a pinky brown. Super cute. Next we have Olay, which is the medium intensity brown. I can't get over how like just jelly these feel. They're so soft to the touch. Okay. So that one, again, is like pulling like just the tiniest little pink. I don't know, that's not the best swatch I've ever done in my life. But I feel like when I was looking at these, like in the video, I was like, I'm not sure how much they're gonna look like a bronzer on my skin tone, but I feel like she like really captured that like perfect in between of like a natural, like very neutral blush without going too pink or too brown to where it just looks like bronzer. That latte might be my favorite, but Olay looks really pretty. And then the deepest intensity brown is Macchiato. So here's what Macchiato looks like. I feel like this is pulling a little bit warmer, maybe just a touch warmer than the other two brown shades but they all look really pretty.
I cannot lie, I am slightly overwhelmed on what to put on my face right now. Hmm, maybe let's, let's start with the lightest intensity and maybe build up on both sides just to see what we get because I feel like it's easier to go darker versus lighter. So maybe we'll try all six of them on the cheeks just like very slowly. And Kaki did say that she likes using the 106 brush from BK Beauty, which I use for foundation a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and use that for these blushes on her recommendation, little coffee break. Oh, so let's start off with Paloma. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit cause I don't really know what to expect, but actually the brush is picking up pretty well. Let's just start that. Ooh, okay, Paloma. Okay, so for me personally, very fair skin, instant pigment. Like that was very intense. I actually feel like this brush picked it up so much. I could honestly use my fingers to maybe sheer it out a little bit more. I mean, it looks beautiful. Like that was so easy. It has that like soft little glow to it. Very pretty. I also feel like this is the perfect coral. It's not too pink, not too orange, just like right in the middle. So that is cute. Let's see if we can add a little bit of the next one up, if I can remember. Oh, we'll go into a little bit of spritz, but I'm gonna be careful, like the smallest amount. Just gonna pop that right here. Maybe a little bit more concentrated. Ooh, that's pretty. All the summer vibes. It's a domestic summer for me, but I'm still about it. <laughs> Going into a little bit of upper aperitif. I don't know if I said that the first time because I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong, but just gonna grab a tiny little bit because it is very, very pigmented. And we can pop that on. It looks like a hot orangey red fire kind of shade on me. It's getting more orange adding this one in. But honestly, I feel like I could use all of them just lightly. Super pretty. I really like the formula. Like I'm very tempted to get a, another shade from them because I've never tried them before, but apparently they have a like a thing on their website where you can make a custom blush. And you guys know I'm such a sucker for like a baby pink blush. I feel like in this formula, it would be stunning. So now let's go into latte. I'm just gonna kind of wipe off my brush a little bit, try and get some of that coral off. I think I might be most excited about this shade. I can't, I can't decide. So going into latte. Ooh, that's so pretty. Honestly, I feel like that's the perfect shade to just like forego bronzer. You only have a moment. You want a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter all in one. This is stunning. Khaki also did show herself like layering the brown and the coral, but I kind of was just trying both out, you know, cause I've only got two cheeks, but I promise I will talk more about these in the future and let you guys know how I end up feeling all together. So now I'm taking Olay. Just gonna grab a little bit of that. I'm kind of curious if I put that like right here where I contour a little bit more how it'll look. I mean, you can tell it has like a slight pinky tone to it, but I think it looks really pretty. Slightly obsessed. I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna take just a touch of macchiato and kind of do the same thing, just keeping it a little bit more concentrated and further back. But I mean, I st still feel like used lightly, I can get away with it and it looks really pretty. Like honestly, the combo of all three, I don't know that I would ever do that again because it's, you know, it takes a minute to do three different blushes, but it does look really pretty. Also, just in case you guys are curious, because I know not everyone loves scents on lip glosses, I cannot smell the lemon scent anymore. I feel like you can only really smell it in the tube and like when you're first applying it, but I can't smell it on my lips. So it does go away. It's not like obnoxious or anything like that. Oh, there's the brown shades. There's the coral shades. I'm kind of into both sides. I don't know, there's something about this that I just love so, so much. That is everything for this little first impression. Congrats again to Khaki. I think the collection is so pretty and I'm always excited to try a new brand. So you guys will have to let me know if you've tried anything else from Finding Ferdinand, what you love, what I need to try because first impression, these blush formulas feel amazing. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.